Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I want to ask you a question. When you look at me, what do you see? What comes to your mind? What do you feel? Do you feel pity? Do you feel sorrow? Do you feel sad? Well, the thing I want to say to all of you who have a hard time watching people go through is, number one, no weapon formed against me will prosper. Number two, anything that the devil has done to harm me, God will turn around to bless me. Number three, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. There is no need for fear. When things go bump in the night and things go wrong, just because it's not happening according to your plans, just because it doesn't look like it's coming in the right packaging, does not mean it's not coming. What God has for you, it is for you. What God has for me, it is for me. And I believe it. That settles it. So what I say to all of you is when life throws you a curve like it tried to throw me, there's only two things that can happen. Either I will graduate ahead of my class and be in glory with my Father in heaven, or I will be here doing what God wants me to do from a healthy body. Either way, it's a win-win situation. Think about that. Either way, it's God's will. And God's will is always good. So, Pat Love is here to encourage you as well, as God encouraged me. Be encouraged. Know that God loves you with an everlasting love. There's no mother on the face of this earth that loves their child more than God loves us. It's impossible because the originator of love, the epitome of love, the personification of love is God. And I hope and pray that you will seek your comfort from him. I hope and pray that you will find out one-on-one -on -one that God is a lifter up of our heads, that he heals the broken in heart, that by his stripes we are healed. We have no need to fear because if God is for us, who can be against us? Come on now, you guys, hold your head up high. Know that God is a very present help in trouble. So don't fear, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. I'm messing it up, but you know what I mean. Psalms 46. Don't fear. God is here. He's on his job. He knows what he's doing. He's very much in control. Very much. Ask him while you're going through what he wants you to, to learn, what he wants you to get from the experience, what adjustments he wants you to make characteristically, emotionally, verbally, physically, or spiritually. He'll lead your path. If you acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your path. He's not going to sit up there and sock you in the nose and let you lay there wondering who hit you. And then there's no reason for it while he's laughing behind the scenes. That's not the kind of God 
we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Have you heard that, that song? What a mighty God we serve. 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 Listen, God did not bring you this far to leave you. God didn't carry you to let you fall. He didn't move his home in you to move away. He didn't lift us up to let us down. There are promises written in letters long, long time ago. Get in your Bible and read God's heart with your heart and know for yourself. God is our father. He's our shepherd. He's our great physician. He's our counselor. We're not alone. We're not alone to fend for ourselves. If you only knew all that God was preparing for you, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for them that fear and love him. Trust in God. Trust in him. Don't lean to your own understanding. Know that God is with you. Know that he will never leave nor forsake you. He will work all things together for your good and mine. To those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. God bless you. Be encouraged. It can't do anything but get better. And if, if it gets worse, don't blame him now. Because whatever he does is for our good. Even when it hurts. I guarantee you. He's pulling for us. He's working on our behalf. He's on your side and mine. And you are not alone.